Phineas Taylor Barnum, commonly known as P.T. Barnum, was an American showman, businessman, and entertainer who became one of the most famous figures in the world of entertainment in the 19th century. Born on July 5, 1810, in Bethel, Connecticut, Barnum's life story is one of ambition, innovation, and showmanship. Barnum grew up in a large family, and from an early age, he exhibited a knack for making money and entertaining others. His first foray into business was at the age of 12 when he sold snacks and homemade cherry rum to soldiers. By his late teens, he had established a small newspaper, The Herald of Freedom, in Danbury, Connecticut. However, it was not long before his restless spirit led him to New York City, where he sought greater opportunities. Barnum's entry into the world of entertainment began in 1835 when he purchased Joyce Heth, an elderly African-American woman he claimed was 161 years old and the former nurse of George Washington. Although this claim was false, it captured the public's imagination and demonstrated Barnum's ability to generate public interest through sensationalism and marketing. In 1841, Barnum acquired Scudder's American Museum in New York City, which he transformed into Barnum's American Museum. The museum featured a vast array of exhibits, including live animals, wax figures, and human curiosities. It was here that Barnum showcased famous acts like General Tom Thumb, a dwarf performer, and the Fiji Mermaid, a hoax artifact combining a monkey and a fish. Barnum's most famous creation was his circus, which he launched in 1871 as P.T. Barnum's Grand Traveling Museum, Menagerie, Caravan and Hippodrome. This traveling show, known today as the greatest show on earth, combined elements of a traditional circus with unique attractions, such as acrobats, clowns, and exotic animals. Barnum's Circus became a cultural phenomenon, bringing joy and wonder to audiences across the United States and beyond. Barnum was not only a master showman but also an astute businessman. He understood the power of advertising and publicity, often employing sensational tactics to draw crowds. His motto, there's a sucker born every minute, reflects his understanding of human curiosity and his ability to capitalize on it. Despite his success in entertainment, Barnum also had a career in politics and philanthropy. He served as a Connecticut state legislator and later as the mayor of Bridgeport, Connecticut, where he championed causes such as temperance, animal welfare, and urban development. Barnum was a strong advocate for education and founded Bridgeport Hospital. Barnum's life was not without controversy. His use of deception and exploitation, particularly regarding human curiosities and freak shows, has been criticized for its ethical implications. However, his contributions to the world of entertainment and his pioneering spirit are undeniable. P.T. Barnum passed away on April 7, 1891, but his legacy endures. He is remembered as a pioneer of modern entertainment, a master of promotion, and a visionary who transformed the circus into a major form of popular entertainment. Barnum's influence is still felt today in the world of marketing, entertainment, and show business, where his techniques and innovations continue to be studied and emulated. Please subscribe to the channel.